Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars, shall we? Um, so today we're going to try out yet another new avatar, see how much we like it. If it doesn't suit our style, we can change it again. Um, but yeah, there was recently a tournament. Good luck. There was recently a tournament where avatars were being awarded. Uh, for good participation, or good performance. Um, and so they finally produced an avatar that has an animal on it. Which is super cute, isn't it? Uh, well, I'll take a look at the VOD afterward and see um, how much I care for it. But it looked cute to me, at least at first. Interesting. Our opponent is playing very aggressively. You know, you'd think I'd recognize this by now, but um, somehow it's new to me. Okay, sure, let's just go for it. We're not going to keep our king on that file. Not with them aiming everything at the king this way. Um, Hmm. This point is weak. They defend it. Okay, but... Oh, I guess that's fine. I guess that's a reasonable shape. Hmm. Oh, hang on. If I put my bishop on 5-5, five, five, they could push this. I'm not prepared for that. I could push this pawn to oppose the silver. They'd have to retreat. I just don't know. There's a lot going on here. I'm timing an attack, they're timing an attack. Nanafun. If I push here, Hmm. 
Yeah, I need to get this pawn out for, um, in front of my rook. Whether or not I fully commit to a sack here. Um, this is fine. I might have badly misplayed this. Um, that's interesting too. <laughs> okay, you got my curiosity. What's up? I think our opponent just imploded under the time pressure. But I'm the one in time pressure, not them. Gofun. I shouldn't have allowed them to take this.
二分三十秒。Like, this is a really severe position. Like, super ultra mega severe. So, um, I'm just a bit nervous. Nifun. I have to run. Like, I have to play quickly here. I'm in severe time pressure. I should just take the horse. Whatever. It sucks. I had a horse. If I were just paying ever so slightly more attention and were not offering as much commentary, I would have taken the horse. All right, whatever. We're back. I can't checkmate them in 30 seconds. There's just not a fast enough way to win this.
10秒Thanks for the game. Yeah, I can't enter move fast. I'm probably still checkmated somehow there, but we both got excited. Um, I need to play faster. Yeah, know what I'm doing. Good luck. I thought I saw a really nice tactical continuation there. I don't. Um, I mean, it's fine. I'm just not super thrilled about it. Wait, no, I have a fork. The fork is decent. Yeah, I should take this. This produces another fork. They can drop the bishop again. We take fork number two. We drop fork number three here. I missed the bishop. My bishop has no not multiple escapes here. Um I don't think this worked out in their favor. If I drop again, my bishop's trapped. No, this pawn is still not defended. They could drop over here to stop me. Um, I don't know. I thought I saw something convincing, and I'm sorely mistaken.
7分I think this prepares some fun tactics. I'm not totally sure. My king is safe. I'm playing with fire. But, you know, if I weren't playing with fire, we wouldn't have these games to go out, look at afterward. Mm hmm. Hmm. They move this gold away, this becomes loose. Ah, I missed that. Didn't consider that. Um. whole game there have been many things I've failed to consider. Taking this pawn doesn't look interesting anymore. Oh, now I've um, trapped my silver. Wait, no, they can't push that to trap it. Never mind. I could sack, but there's not a huge return on investment there. Um. So I retreat. I was wrong. I don't know how to make progress here. Without jeopardizing my own king. I block my rook because I'm just, I need to make a move before my time expires. It's not a good reason for a move. But, like, there's lots of loose points in my position. And I don't have ways to support all of them.
I'm playing with fire again. I have ideas, but they're such half-baked ideas. Right now, my idea is that my bishop is in the way of my... Well, if I start moving the bishop in odd shapes, um, they can drop a bishop here. I'm not ready for that, am I? Um... Hmm. I was originally just going to push pawn 5-5 five five without thinking. Now I've done at least a little thinking. And this looks difficult. Um, Something. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's a mess. It's such a mess. Finally, I get to promote my bishop. Um. I'm impressed. I can't take that because of mate in one. Well spotted. All right. Um, I don't really have a choice there. My king is very severely weak here. I could try to run, but there's nowhere to run to. Um...
1分30秒うん20秒Thanks for the game. All right, let's play another. Good luck. I might be ever so slightly tilted, just a bit, um, just on account of the last two games I played decently, um, but got stopped, so I want to do better. I'd like to win one today. Okay, we saw what happened last time I exchanged bishops, right? Oh, but here it's just straight up winning, so let's do it. All right. Um Okay, what now? Do I give chase to the rook? Do I take back here, get my bishop chased around some more? Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the safest way to play. And we drop back and then push this pawn and this allows us to pursue the rook further. Um, they're planning to move this knight at some opportune moment. I should be careful. or thoughtful, or whatever. Um, this 
So yeah, if they've been deciding whether to move the knight here or bishop here. Interesting. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unblock my rook and assume that's the right thing to do here. A step out of a later tactic. A later tactic involve a bishop, bishop, and a rook. Instead, my bishop and rook are no longer aligned. So in the future, I can push pawn 5-5 five five and hope for some other shot here. Um, I just don't understand how tactics work in this game. I think that's what this boils down to. Let's try to activate my rook directly here. Yes, yeah, so like they have this bishop drop that. I don't know if I have a good response to. If they drop this and if I exchange it and if one of their generals takes it, I have a bishop fork over here. I mean, it's not going to happen, but I should still have some idea of well, if it happens, what do I do? One could be I just offer up the knight, but I don't see we're not going here. Um, Gofun. It's like I can spot a lot of tactics, but I still I my understanding of these tactics is not as deep as that as of an engine. Um, um, so now I can threaten to win this lance. Win is a odd term here. But, like, I don't know what to do. I have a ton of pressure. This should make my opponent feel uncomfortable. But, like, how do I make progress? 
they have a solid castle. I should put my rook in a good square. How about that? That's a way to make progress. Was that so hard? It's harder when an opponent can drop a bishop in response to every one of your moves, and it's a different bishop drop every time. And each stings in a different way. Like, reading every bishop drop every turn is exhausting. And eventually I miss one, and then that's the one that matters. This is why Shogi is complex. In chess, as you exchange pieces, the game gets simpler. And Shogi, quite the opposite. Here, even though I won a bishop, it's still not a complete win. Um... If they drop a pawn, maybe I take both pawns for a gold? I don't know. Maybe I just continue running. I don't think there's any instruction manual on how to win once you've run, reached a position this winning. Sampun. I just pinned my silver. Wait, but no, if they try to win it on one side or the other, my horse covers either side. And if they play both in sequence, then I can take the rook. But if they push the pawn, things get more complicated. Meanwhile, I'm threatening horse takes gold. Which might be my ticket out of here. Or I could take the silver. Or I could take the knight, but then I can't take here twice. Else I could take here and then take here, but that would be weird. Okay. So here I'd resolved that I could respond this way.
you know, the thing that makes Shogi the most interesting is also the thing that makes it an immensely difficult game to play. There's just so many defenses, no matter how bad your position gets. There's always something to consider. Until, like, literally there's nothing. But in almost every position, there's something to consider. Here I am playing impulsively again. They have no capture this turn. Next I can drop a rook. Or I could drop an I don't have a knight. Knight would be nice. I don't know how to respond to that. Um, I think this is most accurate. The object is to take out the king. I might have epically messed this checkmate up somehow. But, um, thanks for the game. Yeah, I'm not actually sure that that mates. Uh, originally, I considered a gold drop there. That didn't doesn't work. Um, I think if I take and then. If, like, this dragon takes that gold next, I'm probably threatening something. I'm also considering taking the knight. I don't really know. Um, but it seems to have worked. So, perhaps that's a fitting end to this series here. We're very gradually edging toward Wandan. Um, no doubt, Telmarch and other folks will get there first. But we can still make it there eventually. Hope we enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching.